right, guys, we're back on our feet. We're going to be looking at dealing with the punches and the double legs. We're going to look at the double leg and then the low single from a punch defense. I'm going to add the outside tripping because this straight shot finish can be kind of difficult without changing the angle. So we're going to be looking at just the outside trip, maybe even a little angle change. So as always, if he's going to punch me, I want two arm length distance at least. We're going to be looking at closing that distance. He's going to punch, I'm going to change level, and just shoot here. All right. So I get this good double leg position, my shoulder is in deep, he's in the posture that I want. But sometimes they take these like little steps to stay on their feet, okay? I'm going to take my back leg here, and it's this duck walk motion. I'm going to drive with my shoulder, and then as the weight comes off that leg, I'm going to hook and hook straight back. One more time. Here. Last one we're going to look at is the low single. This is one of my favorite techniques. We're going to look at it from this side because this will be a little more interesting. I like shooting on this left leg here. All right, I'm going to get low and shoot pretty much in that same motion. I wouldn't want to stand here very long and I definitely, if he's trying to punch, wouldn't hang out in this football position either. So we're going to be here, two arms, my hands are up here, he's moving to punch, I'm going to change level, shoot in here. So I get low, I'm pushing up my left hand, I'm going to push off of my left leg. I'm pushing his knee to the outside. And I get up. Now I'm on top. All right, guys. So we're going to be revisiting this double leg and the low single, but this is going to be from a wrestling standpoint. Okay, so we're going to be here in this wrestling position. The thing that I see most often when, when the kids are wrestling, is you've got one guy standing, like he's waiting in line somewhere, and you, you know, maybe two guys doing that, and you're talking about your school day, and no one's going to get a good takedown. So it's really important, guys, that when you're wrestling, that you're using your inside position, or trying to get inside position, and you're, you're using a decent wrestling stance. You're using your hands, and you're, you're using your arms. And you're going to shoot here to get in on that double. Okay, so use your hands instead of that same double. I can trip here, I can push up, but we're going to finish that same double. The low single is a little different. I don't get so close, okay? So this is like an outside player's game. I don't want to get in and then lock up if I'm going to be shooting a low single, for the most part. Somebody might be able to pull it off. I want to be a little further than a normal shot position, which is right where we're at. I can move around, I'll touch the back a lot here. I want to look at his whole body, and I'm going to move here, slide, and then close my take down. It's the exact same finish, as with the punches, that's it. All right, guys, we're going to be looking at maintaining the mount and then attacking the Americana and armbar. So this is real simple. All right, so he's going to be giving me some options. The guy doesn't know any jujitsu, and I give him the left blanket position. He's going to push up. I want you guys to swing through. If they're a strong guy and I can swing through like this, I'm not going to move his arms. I want to make his arms wobble. So I'm going to throw one arm through, then the other here and get my chest low. Okay? The next thing we're going to look at, if he knows jujitsu, he's going to try to do the shark fighter snake bite. So he starts to control my arm, I'm going to flip, pull that arm back. Flip, pull that arm back. Do it a few times. Now, we looked at the knee to elbow, so he's going to try to bring that elbow down to the floor. I can grab the sleeve or scoop under the tricep here. I'm going to put my hand right by his ear, and then I'm going to lift with my whole body and slide that knee up. He's going to try to get that other knee in there, post, scoop, lift, climb. Last but not least, he doesn't want to be here. Who knows, maybe I'm, it's like a great scene action video where I'm slapping him in the face, and he doesn't want to get slapped anymore, so he's going to belly out. I want to let him. My hands go to the floor and let him go. As he starts to get up, hooks in, and then Seat belt. All right. Now he's going to go back to the bottom. We're going to look at some finishes. Do this one just a little bit. All right, guys. So we looked at that Americana. The two on one, drive my whole body, elbow down, set up that Americana. Okay. Now we're going to look at setting up the Americana to the arm bar. So set up two skills. So I'm going to drive, boom, start to set up that Americana. He reaches to save it here. I can't finish that Americana. I'm going to take my right knee, slide it to his head, 
and I'm going to fold my left leg here. I want my heel and my knee kind of squeezing toward each other, just like I was setting up an arm bar from the guard. Now, this is an important detail. I'm going to press my hips forward here to push that arm as far into my, um, into my hips as possible. Swing the leg over the head, sit, plant those knees, and slowly finish. All right, guys. That's our maintain mountain attack. Sprawl to the back tank with the rear naked choke and then the arm bar. All right, so the sprawl is really simple. So we'll kind of look at it. We'll start off from the knees and kind of look at the concept. So we're here. Professor's going to grab my leg here, head on the inside. Okay. So if he can push, so my hips are over my knees here. If he keeps driving, he's going to win and get me to take get the take it. So I want to press my hips into that shoulder here and keep my knees away. So if he wants to keep driving, I'm just going to keep sliding here. So let's look at that concept from the feet. So we're here. I'm in. I have to hold on. Like I can't. I can't sprawl from that Frankenstein position. Okay. So I have to be low here. So I'm here. He still gets inside. I'm late. I'm going to just shoot my hips back. If my arm is here, I need to move it here. Okay. I'm going to block his head. I'm going to circle with my outside hook in. My inside hook in and control this back position. The first attack we're going to look at is the rear naked choke. Give it a little bit. So I have my hooks in here. I'm going to wrap my arm all the way around his neck to my own bicep or shoulder. This hand's going to swing behind my head, tuck my head, and squeeze. All right, I'm going to pull him to the side here. We're going to look at the arm bar. So this is if he rolls me over. I have the seat belt here. I'm trying to choke and he's defending. I'm going to grab his shoulder, post his head, fall to the side, switch my feet, hook his head, curl, and finish that off. One more time. It should look like this. Alright guys, the last part of this, this block it's going to be dealing with the guillotine. So we're going to get, not getting guillotined from the feet and then not getting guillotined when we're on our knees trying to finish a takedown. So the first thing, the professor's going to grab a guillotine here. Step one, I want to turn my chin into my partner's body here and take a little pressure off. I'm going to throw my right arm over the shoulder here and I'm reaching, like I'm reaching toward his back pocket here. I'm going to swing and then hook here. Once I hook, I'm going to back step and then set him down here. If he continues to hang on to the guillotine, I'm going to connect my hands, drop my shoulder in his neck, and just give him a hug to let go. Alright, one more. We can just go from the knees now. Alright, so a lot of times I'll be rolling out for the legs here and he grabs my neck. So what I want to do is I want to control his legs and make sure my hips end up on the opposite side of my head. So I'm going to push Get my tips to the opposite side of my head here. Now we again he can choke all he wants. I'm just gonna keep driving my shoulder into his body until he lets go. Alright guys, those are good options there. It should get you out of that guillotine. 